Okay, so now that we've gone over what unwrapping is for, let's talk about, um, let's do this one. There's obviously a couple ways you could do things. Um, you can always do it as symmetry and stuff like that. Um, for ours, we're not going to do that at this point. Um, I'm just going to do it by hand and then, uh, well, we may do front and back. Let me think here. Yeah, let's just do front and back. So if we're going to unwrap this, normally, it, when, like we talked about, every polygon needs to be laid out flat like a piece of paper or as flat as it can be. And the more distorted it is, the more distorted the image gets on the object. But let's just assume that we know that and we're going to go this way. Now, there's what we can do is we can take this object. Um, why did I do it that way? And take this half of this object and this symmetry here. Make sure it's all... Perfect. Well, that was luck. Looks pretty good. Okay, and then we delete it. There we go. go. Back to the front view. Now, when I unwrap it, it's going to make me only unwrap half, but then I'll have to adjust it after I, I put the symmetry back on. We'll talk about that in a second. And it gives you the opportunity to decide what you need to do that to, and that'll bring up another thing called tiling or the repetitiveness of textures. But let's just do it now. I'm going to turn on the UV unwrap on this now that I have half the object open. Oh, let me do this, actually. When you put on your UV unwrap, you want to make sure you have nothing selected, not any of these buttons selected. If I say like this, and I say UV unwrap, and I look at it, it's unwrapping just what I have selected. In this case, I have nothing selected because I'm in the sub-object mode. So let me give you another idea. If I do this, and I select this face, and then you, you know, let's just do these faces, and then I say UV unwrap. I say editor, you can see now I'm just grabbing those faces. So <clears throat> obviously not what I want. And none of the other stuff will be available. So what we want to do is, and I'm going to go ahead and hide this one for now because there are some shortcut stuff up there, but it's just not stuff I use. Um, and then I'm going to take turn, make sure I have nothing on here turned on. Then I'm going to say UV unwrap. Okay, now I have nothing selected with the UV unwrap on, and it automatically turns on the uh, polygon selection in the UV unwrap. And you'll notice there's vertex, edge, and polygon modes. And you'll see that it's set to 15 degrees by default, and it has that shortcut. And I'm going to turn on the 15 degrees, so whenever I select anything, it's going to use a 15 degree area or angle before it selects any other polygon. And this was flat, so that makes that selected. Okay, so that's I like using that. And you can turn it on and off or turn it up or whatever you need to do. And there's that lightning bolt. Um, button that I talk about all the time, the quick planar map, and I'll get into that real quick in a minute. But let's open up the UV editor. So you open this up and then you, you turn on this and then you uh, open up the UV editor. Usually what I do is I put this UV editor on a different page, on a different screen I mean, and then work this way. But this is what we're seeing. Okay, this is how it's unwrapped by default, all the work we did on it. And how does that look when we put our texture pattern on it? Well, to check and see how a, a checkerboard would look on here, we have to come up to here and say checker pattern, which is the sec second option on here. We click on that, and there's the checker pattern. Now, the checker pattern is just supposed to be a checkerboard. So obviously, there is something wrong. And So what we need to do is unwrap it so it looks flat across here. So we're going to take this with this on and click here. And then we're going to use our lightning bolt button. Boop. And what this does is it makes a flat plane. As you can see, that white or that yellow box that goes around it, that's the plane it's going to unwrap it to because that's an averaged plane right now. And it will try and fit it in proportionally inside of this area. And if we look at it now, if I push on F2, um, you'll see these are all checkerboards now. So cool. I'm going to move this off to the side. Another thing we can do, and a lot of things I do in the beginning, just to get used to where everything is so I can see it in a better visible form, is I'll click on everything. And um, I'll just do this one again, too. And I come up to Tools. Sorry, it's the wrong one. Uh, we'll do that later. I'm going to say Flat Mapping. And then I'm going to tell it to go on a 45 degree angle and fill holes. And let's go. And you'll see what it does is it breaks everything into all these little pieces. It's not what we want, but it's a good starting point because what I can do is move everything off of here for now. Then I'll come here and click this, do the lightning bolt, which I should make a shortcut for, and then move it off to the side. Then I'm going to take these because this is the biggest one, and this is the reason it's spread out so much because it's trying to figure out how best to fit all these pieces inside of this thing, these pack, that packing. Now we're going to pack the UVs and say OK. And now we can get a better idea of what we're looking at. 
Theoretically, we could leave it there. We're not going to because there's a lot of issues with some of this stuff going here. So we're just gonna take it and we're gonna start moving that again off the center here. This is the one and the zero, which I talked about before. This is where everything you unwrap needs to be for it to be a unique texture. And we haven't gotten into tiling, but just for now, this is where everything needs to be. Okay, so I'm gonna come back off, move those out of the way, because whenever I do my lightning bolt, it's gonna snap everything into the center. It's gonna try and position itself in the center. And I'm just gonna build them all separately and then repack them later. So I'm gonna grab this, because it's an easy grab, and take this off and just do, it looks like this may be more than 15. So I'm gonna turn my F2 back on so I can see what I've grabbed a little bit easier. So I grab that, which looks like everything there, and I push that lightning bolt. Now, when I first push that lightning bolt, you'll see that it's a little distorted on the sides over here like this. So the next thing we always want to do is we want to use either this one or relax until flat or straight and selected. So I push straight and selected. It kind of deforms a few things like that. Or I could do this one and it'll try and keep it, look at now it's pretty straightforward, but it's really hard to to necessarily, if you're trying to make a straight line on something, it, it'd be, it's not a clean way of doing it. So a lot of people just use this because it makes this really easy to pack it up. You know what? Uh-oh, I'm gonna make it explode. There we go. Now it's back. All right, I don't even care. We can come back and flatten these after the fact too, so. All right, so I've got that one laid out so it looks right, and I'm gonna grab this one. I'll just do it this way. Oops, I'll just do it this way and say flatten and then I'll move it out of the way. And if I want, I can do this button again. Um, this button is the shortcut for this relax tool, which you can leave up and I'll use over and over again. And I'm just used to using it that way. So I might just leave it over here, but yeah. So, and it's just relax and it'll relax it until it gets to the right size. And you can see all of them are the perfect size. Then I grab this one, that one's pretty easy and I'll just do that uh, lightning bolt. So basically you're just going through everything and you'll see, look at that. Okay, so when I do this, by default, when it does that planar map defining it, it tries to find an angle that works for what it's thinking. So we're gonna change that for this one and not try and have it auto figure it out, but just say we're gonna go straight up and down from Z. And as I change the plane, you'll see it goes from Z or Y or X. So it's gonna try and um, put it across that plane. We just want it to be on Z. And then if I push it, it just goes perfectly straight on there, perfect. Okay. So I need this one and we'll do it again here. Let me see. Yeah. And it looks like Z is probably, probably a safe one for that too. So I'll look and there it is. Move it out of the way, move it up here. Don't worry about the scale of everything. We're gonna fix that later. Uh, we do want everything to be similar scales or at least the most important things to be the bigger scale. Okay, now I'm gonna grab this one, this one, Like that so again if you want to see what I'm grabbing this is what I'm grabbing I'm grabbing everything on the recessed part of the handle and then I'm gonna push my lightning bolt but I don't want it to be on the up down because it's gonna look weird let me show you it'll do that that's definitely not what we want so I'll try the average first and we'll see and that's the average is the bottom one and we'll see what it does and it does it pretty good so if I went straight it wouldn't be much different so I'm gonna say relax on this one and it just flattens it out just to show you it does the same thing. It's just my, my brain is used to using the other way. So I'll move that out of the way. And you can see these are all pretty um, straight edges now, okay? 